Welcome to the homework for lesson three. This is module five of first grade. Write your name here. Now uh, this says go on a scavenger hunt for three dimensional shapes. Look for objects at home that would fit in the chart below and try to find at least four objects for each shape. Now I can't tell you what's in your place where you are or where you can, where you're going to find. You may find some, you're going to find some examples that are a lot different than mine. I'm sure. And then try to find some that are not the same as mine. But I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna give one or two if I can uh, name some, and just so I can go on to the next page. So cube. Uh, well, I've got a game that has dice with it, so the dice are cubes. And a rectangular prism is any kind of a box. Could be a rectangular prism. And um, just looking around at my uh, at my desk, and actually. There's a, uh, I have a CD that comes in a case. So, one of those jewel boxes that CD cases come in. That's actually a rectangular prism. It's a weird, flat looking one, but it's a rectangular prism. Uh, cylinder. Uh, let's see, I found a can of tomatoes I've got lots of those so that's a cylinder or and any kind of a wheel would also be a cylinder usually uh, sphere spheres are a, a ball so but not like a football it's got to be a totally round ball so uh, I've got a basketball Actually, I've got a baseball here right on my desk, so baseballs are spheres. And for cone, well, I can think of an ice cream cone. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of really perfectly cone-shaped things that you're going to probably find around your house. You may only be able to find one if you even, if you even have ice cream cones. Whatever you can think of that might be cone-shaped. Uh, and just list more of them. And I, I just listed one each. You're going to find other things, but you may be able to find stuff that's like that. Uh, choose one object from each column and explain how you know that object belongs in that column. So let's say, here we go. We'll start with the dice. I'll just work from left to right. So I put the dice in the cube column because... And here's a word bank so I can know how to spell the uh, so I can know how to spell the the words that I need uh, how do I know that it's a cube because it has six squares Right, because a cube will have its all of its faces are squares, and it's got a left and a right, a front and a back, a top and a bottom. That's six faces. And then the next one was the cylinder. So I put the the can, the tomato can, in the cylinder column because let's see, it rolls. It can roll and has flat ends, right? Because the top and bottom of the can, or if you lay it on its side, the left and the right, you know, just depending on how you're looking at it, it's not totally round like a like the baseball would be. Uh, I put the, now we're looking for the sphere column, so baseball, and you might have some food, right, like uh, an orange, that's, those are usually pretty good spheres, close enough to a sphere, uh, there's a lot, so there's some fruit that could be that, um, thinking about something, I can't think of a food that's cone shaped right off besides the ice cream cone, but 
still trying to think of another cone uh, in the sphere column because let's see uh, it is it is round it rolls right because i'm looking at the words up here in the in the uh the word bank it is round it rolls and has no flat sides Or actually, they should be faces, not sides, right? It has no flat faces. Okay, I put the ice cream cone. Oops, that's just way too sloppy. Try to write it careful enough so that somebody else can read it. The spelling doesn't have to be perfect. We're not writing an essay here, but it should be readable. So take the time to write it carefully. And, and if you use the words in the word bank, then you should use the spelling in the word bank too. That's what it's there for, to help you spell them. Ice cream cone because it has a point. Here's a point right here. Because one end is a point. It has a point and a circle, right? Because one end's uh, the point at the pointy end of the cone, and the other end is the circle. It has a point and pointy end. And a circle. And now the rectangular prism, that was a CD case. Or box in the rectangular prism column because it has just like the cube, it has a top and a bottom, a front and a back, and a left and a right. So it has six, oops, it has six, but it doesn't have six square faces. It has six rectangular, it has six rectangles. Six six rectangle faces. And a face is just a flat part of a three-dimensional object.